we find something very interesting that we know that to have a minyan for tefillah b'tzibor or for Kaddish, we require 10 people to create that minyan. And where do we get this notion in the halacha that it's 10? The answer is so unusual that it's based on the maraglim. Because when the spies were sent, they came back and 10 of them had an evil and negative report about Eretz Yisrael. And those 10 were called an Eidah. And from that we learn that a congregation is always defined by 10 people, and therefore 10 is a minyan. And it's very unusual that the model and the paradigm of a minyan is the minyan of the evil Meraglim. But I think that this source is really chosen to teach us a lesson. And that is that we see that the 10 spies came with their report. And Yahshua and Kalev were so righteous and articulated so compellingly why the spies were wrong and how great Eretz Israel would be for us. And nevertheless, this 10 spies, the Eidah Ra'ah, silenced Yahushua and Kalev and made their message completely irrelevant. And no one paid attention to them. And from here, we really see two, I think, very important things. First of all, we see the importance of being an individual against the tide and doing the right thing and achieving greatness like Yoshua and Kalev did. But we also see the power of an Eidah, the power of a community, the power of that unit of 10 to silence all else. And I think Chazal are saying that if an Eidah can be so powerful for the negative, we can use that same power for the positive in creating an Eidah Akila HaKodesh to, ser- to worship God. And really, it's for us to think about how to create an Eidah, a community and a congregation that will silence all the negative sounds of the individuals and enable our values to shine forth and to resonate to ourselves and to others. And when it comes to a minyan, a tzibur, we're familiar with the idea of utilizing a minyan for worship of God. We are, we are familiar with the idea of davening b'tzibur, of kedusha b'tzibur, of Tfila B'tzibor of Kriyat HaTorah B'tzibor. And we understand the impact of being part of a community that's worshiping God. And by attaching ourselves to that community, we really have the ability to uplift ourselves and makes it much easier to join in the community. But there's another aspect of community and Tzibor that's not so as familiar to us. And that is the idea that chesed is also something which is needed to be done as a community. The Rambam says, Me'olam lo ra'inu v'lo shamanu b'kahal mi'israel she'in lahen kupa shel tzedakah. We've never heard of a Jewish congregation, a Jewish community that has no institutionalized tzedakah, kupa shel tzedakah. And based on this, Rav Soloveitchik developed the idea that chesed is not only a personal responsibility, but it must be an institution as our community. We must do chesed. We must do tzedakah b'tzibur. The requirement of a minion, let's say, at a wedding is because the community has a responsibility to help others celebrate, help others mourn, help others in their times of difficulty and by giving tzedakah. And what the Rambam is saying is not only is it the case that all Jews give tzedakah, but it's not enough that all Jews must give tzedakah, but every Jewish community has to have it institutionalized as part of the community because that is 
a different way of supporting the individuals of our community by knowing that the whole community as a whole is there for one another. And at this time, we're particularly conscious of this tension between living our private lives and being part of a community and finding ways to do that given the difficulties. And I think that it's important to think about the importance of developing as an individual, like Yoshua and Kalev, and being able to go against the tide, but also by in- internalizing the power of the community in both realms of our lives, in the Ben Azam Lamakom, in our worship to God, by supporting each other and trying to grow together as a community, learning together, finding ways to daven together, and also in the area of Ben Adam Lachavero, of finding ways not only to help each other individually, one on one, which is also important, but also doing our part to create a community of kindness, a community of charity, a community that as a whole doesn't forget any individual or person in need. And in that way, really, we could add sanctity and meaning and power to our communities by cultivating both the spiritual, the Be'raz on the Makom, and also the spiritual responsibility towards one another in elevating our communities and our tzibor, um, unlike the Miraglim, but to be an Eda HaKadosha. Good Shabbos.